Flats Class fans, welcome back to our Flats Class YouTube channel. Today, we are going to answer a question from my friend Spencer, who wants to know what is the best rod and reel setup uh, or best choice that he could make to throw spoons to redfish. Fair question. We've done spoon stuff in the past videos right here on Flats House YouTube. But this one's going to be a little bit different. This is more about what rod and reel that you need. So we're going to walk over to the boat here because we happen to be throwing spoons this week with all this crazy cloud cover and wind. And I'm going to go through that setup. But while I'm getting things together, you go out and watch some of this footage that I shot last summer in Louisiana with my friend Monkey Mike and David Stutes and see what they're doing with spoons. And then we'll be right back with the setup. PG, PG voices, boys. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, uh, we got in this pond with, um, with Monkey Mike and Mr. Stutes. That's their alter ego names. And we literally were in here for what? Five boat links? <laughs> yeah. And now they're both hooked up to monster redfish. <laughs> and uh, all on Aqua Dream spoons. But now you know why we're using 4,000 size. It's like, yeah, why are we using such a big rod? Whoa, whoa, keep them, keep them off the gunnel. Yep. Maybe. I'm going to try to counterweight. He's got you in a bad position there. Reel down, reel down, get close to the water. He won't let me reel. Holy crap. You okay? You going to be all right? Breathe. Just breathe. All right. Holy <laughs> Look at that size of that thing. Well, boys, this is how first light bite. Are you going to be okay, Dave? I mean, because. Remember, I got that bad. You got bad thumbs? Bad, bad <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just wanted you guys to see the size of these two fish with these two guys here. I'm going to take a quick pick and try to get my shadow off it, fellas. <laughs> Pretty cool footage from Louisiana. In fact, I'm headed back there in just a few short weeks. I'll be back at the lodge there, Cajun Fishing Adventures in Buras, uh, in less than a month. I cannot believe how fast the time has flown by. But I do wanna, I do wanna say this. When you've got clients like Mike and David on the boat, it sure does make the time go by quickly. And as you can see, they had a ton of fun. Spoon fishing. Let's let's talk about spoon fishing. Um, naturally, there are periods uh, where spoon fishing is better uh, to, to to leverage than other times, and we've spoke about a lot of those in previous videos. We're talking about typical days like today: breezy, cloudy, mullet muds, summertime, lots of water. You got to cover, got to cover a lot of ground. But for me. This is why I enjoy a rod and reel setup like this. Let me show you this. This is a seven foot Terramar PX. This is a medium heavy. Uh, it's, it's the ideal rod to throw, in my opinion, 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2. Uh, and, and I have it set up a little bit different. The, the reason I like this rod is it has enough tip to throw a small quarter ounce spoon, but it has the backbone to fight bigger fish. And the reason I'm saying that is not just because of the Louisiana scenario, it's because in many cases you catch more than just redfish. Just yesterday, my client Rick Harnish caught this 33 inch snook on a copper spoon so when you're when you're tangling with fish 
that are bigger, higher quality fish, you want to make sure you've got a good stick. And because this is such a good search bait, covers water, it's, it's, it's a reactive bite that you get, you often get it from alpha-sized fish. Now, in many cases, I'm prospecting when I'm spoon fishing, so I'm making long casts. So a seven foot six, medium heavy with a fast action tip is probably the perfect rod uh, for spoon fishing. But because I live here, Citrus County on the nature coast, and I fish an awful lot of Louisiana in the summertime, I'm using a seven foot rod. I just dropped the lightweight to a lighter weight braid and I'm having no problem fishing that type of setup where I can make accurate short casts because I don't want a seven and a half foot rod in a confined area like a pond or a creek. But when I'm on an open flat, I certainly want a six and a half foot rod, especially when we're making those long casts and you come tight on a fish, you wanna be able to take all the slack out immediately. So seven foot six is better. But basically what I'm saying is you gotta have two rods to go spoon fishing. One that is more of a target rod in those confined areas, and the other is more of an open water rod. Now you may have noticed, you're like, wow, that reel that CA is throwing is a pretty big reel. This is a 4,000 Vanford. Why did I choose the Vanford? Well, because it's a 4,000, I wanted something very lightweight. A 4,000 with most reels weighs over eight ounces. Some of them weigh nine ounces. This one only weighs 7.6 ounces. It's a 6.2 to one gear ratio, which means I can pick up 40 inches of line per handle turn. When you're working a spoon and you've got that static roll going on, that's important. I can roll it at a, at a, at a regular rate or I can roll it faster if I need to but I like the fact that I can pick slack up fast and come tight on a fish that's charging this spoon swimming at me. It'll catch up to it. And if I can't get the slack out with a longer rod, at least I can take the slack out with a faster reel. So that's why I like the 4,000. The Vanford is light, picks up a lot of line. It's got 24 pounds of drag and it is a higher quality reel. So it has all the features that you would expect in some of the models that are the flagship models that you see at Shimano. Again, I am a Shimano pro, I don't hide that, so I'm promoting Shimano, but you use what you wanna use. But to me, seven foot, medium heavy, fast action, seven and a half foot, medium heavy, fast action, 10 pound braid, I would put two to three foot a liter, depends on your water clarity. I typically use 25 and 30 pound test liters to tie on my spoons and you'll notice there's a swivel on these spoons and that keeps the line twist down when you're using spinning gear. But this is the type of setup that I use and I trust to catch big redfish or, or big snook as you saw with Rick. That's what I got for you. If you enjoy what you're learning here at Flats Class YouTube, I encourage you to hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell and give us that thumbs up because it helps us trend better. We want to be your inshore authority moving forward. I want you here in my virtual classroom each and every week. I can't do that without all you helping. All right, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully, you'll be out there catching redfish. Gonna get ready for my next YouTube video.